guys, I hope you can hear me. Um, we have just finished Luke Reynolds' uh, Strongman Monster Dumbbell Australian record. Yeah, Australian um, record, yep. So, unfortunately, uh, Australia's Strongest Man got postponed slash cancelled due to the coronavirus. Uh, COVID fucked us two weeks ago. Uh, that's why we ended up actually doing just uh, record breakers kind yeah. of thing here at Adonis Athletics Penrith. It was live streamed. They went back and forth with the Victorian guys. Yeah, so you had um, you had Will Rogers, the big lad from um, Tasmania. He was down because Tassie wasn't closed off to Victoria. So he's still doing the compound carnage event down at uh, Stand or Submit headquarters in Victoria. Um, so let's can we let's do a breakdown of like how you felt today. Obviously, yeah. uh, you spent the whole day judging and helping out at the comp first. Yeah, yeah. So I, that's what I originally said when it, when ASM got cancelled. I said to Sean and, and Dan, I said, lads, I'm, I'll be around anyway. I said I'll come down, help do the refereeing. So um, the gov Mike Jones, we shared refing duties today, um, which freed up Sean and Dan to actually run the run the show. You know what I mean? Make sure everything was in order. So. Um, so I had a lot of fun doing the refereeing, but as you can see, it's a very sunny day and it was very hot, which is typical of Penrith. <laughs> so yeah, like when, when we got down the come, I was like, oh shit, I'm pretty dehydrated. Uh, but anyway, going back to it, so we hit 95. Yeah, so we both opened at 105, which was just 95. a lo lovely, uh, yeah, 95, which was a nice, um, comfortable opener for both of us, well within our abilities. Um, and then we went 105, which again was both for both of us was only really a warm up. Um, and Will down in uh, Victoria did the same, so he opened on 105, and, and we were so we we're all in the in the game at that point. And um, I think I jumped next. My jump was um, 112, so the old record was 111. So to be honest, feeling as flat as I did after the whole day, I was like, if I can walk out of here with a PR and just beat the old record, I'll um, I'll be pretty happy with that. So regardless of what the other lads do and yeah so I got a nice 112 and I was like okay that's pretty good and Aiden, Aiden jumped straight to 115 and um we'll talk about your 112 because it was like probably the cleanest lift yeah it was a pretty good lift actually yeah <laughs> yeah so it was um as we know I, I like to strict press pretty much fucking everything or at least have a have a strict component to it where I do a solid press out um, and it's the same with my dumbbell. I, I don't have much of a technique as, you know, not like some of these other lads like Will and Aiden who ha have really lovely push presses or, or split jerks or fucking anything. But um, today I managed to get my legs involved a little bit. So the, the thing is, generally, if I can get it to a, about here, I can, I, my triceps and shoulders are, are fuck off strong. So I can sort of, you know, not to be a wanker, I can actually press it out. So yeah, one, and 112 did exactly that. Um, pressed out nicely and, and then, um, yeah, so Aiden, Aiden stepped up to the plate next with the 115. So I took I took the record and that uh, opened the account. Aiden jumped up and he uh, he missed the 115. He was he was very quick in his transition and it's it a big number 115. So it's a lovely clean. But he um yeah he, he just missed that 115. And something he mentioned to me was that if he gets it up and doesn't go straight away, or he like has to shuffle around or misses it and has to go again, it's like yeah. done. And we saw that he yeah. came back. On a second attempt, got it nicely, and it was like a very clean. Lift. It was, and this is why you have to make sure your cleans are so bloody tidy, because if you fuck up a clean and misposition it, and then you've got to muck around with it, one, it's either out of position and you're stuck there, or you have to get it into position and use way too much energy, and it's all over. Um, yeah, so so Aiden, Aiden missed his, his opener at 115, and then so in, in Victoria. Um, Willie, Willie made a monstrous jump uh, and he, he jumped straight to bloody 117 and a half but unfortunately for him he actually missed that lift so at this point the record was still wide open and um, so I was like okay well I, I might as well jump to 115 and, and see if I can extend because at this point I'm still holding the record so you know I'm like, I can um, extend the record a little bit.
I jumped at 115 and got that lift as well. With a very Luke Reynolds style <laughs> press out. Had to, had to fight for that one a little bit. See On you your boys. Catch Thanks, Sean. Thank you so much. See you soon, lads. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, so I. <laughs> Which it was, was a bit of a classic lift, wasn't it? It was an awesome lift to watch. Obviously, like, <laughs> a grind means that everyone's, like, yelling. Or, like, it was a great atmosphere, yeah. It was, yeah, it was, it was oh, good. Wow. And, it was actually a good little crowd here, so in, you know we had the live stream obviously, and, and down where Willie is, he's got like a hundred and something people down there, so he's got a really big, big sort of situation. Um, but um, yeah, we we had probably 20, 20 of the competitors and organisers hung around and um, inside the gym. See you boys. Um, inside the gym, we were able to generate a really good little atmosphere. Everyone got behind it. It was, it was a fucking great little, great feeling. So so yeah, what I heard was. Um, after that, Willie, instead of taking 117 again, which was a very close miss from what I understand, he jumped to 120, which he had been dealing with those kinds of loads in training, so it wasn't an unreasonable sort of expectation. And um, yeah, he, he missed that one as well, um, twice more. So that was that was him done. And and now he's got a full competition tomorrow, so he needs to um, you know turn his attention towards that anyway. Um, but yeah, so um, I, I bowed out at 115. I went, that's enough. I was, you know, I was thrilled with two PBs and at that point, two two records and, and just no injuries, yeah, which, is all, <laughs> which is a good good way to walk away. And um, yeah, so and then um, Aiden had the right to come out one more time and then he opted for 120 and he um, he cleaned it. He cleaned it up. It's a big big number to clean and um, yeah, just just wasn't there today for the press. But I, I got no doubt he'll probably get it in future because he's. He's actually a very impressive lifter on that lift. It was, um, it was some solid stuff today, man. 100%. Like, if he has the opportunity to do it again in yeah. maybe, let's say, like, three to six months, yeah. he's, he's got that. Yeah, look, I, I, I can see it being an, either one of the future Arnolds, uh, Australian Arnold at some point, or, or the next ASM or the one after that or something. So I can, I can see that number climbing. And it, uh, um, Willie probably made a mistake today making that, that really big jump. Um, to 117 from 105, that's probably an experience thing, but there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to have a much higher number very soon anyway, so I'll, um, I'll be happy to sit with Aiden on 115 for now and then see what the lads can do in the future. Thanks guys for watching. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, me and Luke are actually going to start doing more adventures as well again. Yeah, it's time to get back out in the wild and lift some stones again, eh? So if you're interested in that stuff, stay tuned. And you know where to find us, at Royal Barbell Club on all of our social media. So that's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all of that. And I'll see you guys next time.